I'm approaching Sasa right now. I need to get some stuff repaired. I was in a bunch of fights and my stuff is kind of worn down. All right, everything is repaired and I will be ready for more fights. But right now I actually just want to go and see if the charlatan is still here because he asked me to be his apprentice and I turned him down last time because I had a lot of important things to do that were on my mind and now I really have time. So I think that's him as far as I remember. Yep. Good health to you. I changed my mind. Make I'll become your apprentice. Wonderful. Oh, oh glorious day. I delicious. have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. If your pot is burnt, I have my eye on three rare good. objects of great burger, value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to but just so we're clear, I'm not stealing anything for you. Who said anything about stealing? But you said these are valuable things you're after. I don't suppose you can just pick them up anywhere. Valuable for me, because I know their power and strength. For an ordinary mortal, they barely mean anything. Oh. Well, that's fine then. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman for luck from a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. It's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. Come right up. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just You're so happens, thanks to anywhere. my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Fine. I'll get it from him. Wonderful. This topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung from on the top of the roof the woods, of a new house to bring good fortune and God's and blessing. Bait. Very well, I'll get it. Flavors. This player's talisman, where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is winning one game after another, so cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Very well. I'll get you the poor. So let's get the topping first. I already know where there is one. Fortunately, I was up on the monastery once and saw one up there. I don't really know where there's another one, but that should be enough. And see if we can get that down. I'm so glad I was so curious one day and went up that scaffolding and saw that topping up there. Because otherwise, I would probably not have a clue where to find one. Yeah, it's still up there. Let's go get it. Oh wow, look at that chest. Can I open that one? Oh, I can crack it. Let's do that. Got it. Let's see what's in here. Bandage, spade, and a torch. I'm gonna take that. It's mine now. All right, so about that topping. Huh, how do I get to it? How am I supposed to get that down? There's really no way to get over there without falling down. Hmm, that's a good question. 
Well, maybe I can just shoot it down? Can't hurt to try. Well, it worked, but I don't know where that branch went now. Hmm. I hope I can find it down there. Let's go see. I could have probably shot it from down here. But, oh, nope, there it is. I see it already. Yay! It worked! I'm so happy! Okay, we got one item of the ones that he requested. Two more to go. I could probably get all three first and then hand them off to him, but I decided to just bring him one by one. That's just, for me, a better solution somehow. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent! And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. That will be all for now. Take care now. Alright, so now off to the next thing. Uh, which one should I do? I think I'm going to take care of the guy with the tools. And then do the gambler afterwards. It doesn't really matter. So he's supposed to be somewhere over there. As far as I know. So let's hope he is here. That could be him. Uh, I think I'm gonna wash myself real quick. I think uh, it's been a while since I washed last. All right, I don't wanna stink when I ask him this iffy question. Oh, can't get to him. Gotta get this way around. Yeah, that's him. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? I overheard you in the tavern yesterday. If I were you, I'd let the blacksmith pull it. Why? I knew a man once who was in the same situation as you. His tooth was sore, and he was frightened to have it pulled. And what happened to him? In the end, half his jaw almost fell out. So I wouldn't underestimate it. But... But I can't go to the blacksmith. Don't tell me you're afraid. I am afraid. I don't mind admitting it. You know what? I'll go with you and make sure you get out of there alive. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then, and get this over with. Come on, let's go. I'm too lazy to walk. I hope he's just following me anyway, even if I'm on a horse. Is he coming at all? He's not coming! Oh darn, do I have to walk with him? Hold his hand? Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. Yeah, I say so. Come on, let's go. Let's try again if this actually works if I'm on the horse. If it still follows me. We're almost there. Is he even still behind me? Yeah, he's coming. Slowly, but he's coming. Oh no. He's stopping again. He's got second thoughts. Oh man. I gotta go convince him again. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. Alrighty then, he's moving again. Hallelujah. 
We're so close, but if he keeps stopping all the time, I'm afraid we're gonna lose him. Ah! Watch where you're going, you lout! You nearly killed me! Yeah, you're really over-exaggerating now. I was just standing there. I know you're nervous, but you, can just, you don't have to be rude. Let's just get this over with. I got other things to do. Come on, move. Can you just walk a little faster? All right, here we are. He's still here. Look, I, I can't. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward, and I won't be able to handle it. Oh, brother. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, look. Jesus it's Christ, out. The agony. They want to keep it as what a memento. I, I love it. This? Oh, all right. The sun he Yay, we got the tools. Yes. Two down, one more to go. Let's go and bring the tools to the charlatan and then do the last thing. Good wives, come have a look. Don't be shy. You'll never see such fine mates. The tooth of layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get, so if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now, don't exaggerate. That will be all for now. So, I think I saved the gambler thing for last because I'm a little worried that that guy is not going to want to get rid of his cat paw since he brings him so much luck and he probably probably not put a price to it. So let's see what I can do here to convince him to give it to me. Is that him? Yep. My respects to you, sir. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I'll buy it from you. You want to buy my cat paw? You're joking. No, I'm not. I'll buy it. How much do you want for it? See? In the end, it brought me more luck than I thought. <laughs> Thanks. Take care now. Well, I probably could have gambled for it, but I'm not really so good at the dice game. So I thought I'm just gonna buy, who cares? I got enough money, thankfully. And I just wanted to get this over with. I can't believe he actually did sell it to me. Even though 150 groschen is a lot. But I got it. God be with you, Henry. So I got all three things. One cat paw for luck. Marvelous. Let's just time. hope it brings us luck as well. So we've got all that sorted out. And now to the next matter. So about my reward. Not woods, so fast. And fatty pork, There's one and more beef. thing. We have it's it rather Come and complicated see. and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes! A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes? Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. Come right up. The precious the enveloping garment in, in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. Right. Mate, so where can French. I find him? From His the family from is the waiting pen. for the it funeral. For now, he's lying in the small church in Sasa. And who was this Lokota? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. 
God be with you. Oh my God, is he kidding me? I don't even know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Take something from a dead body, but not do anything illegal. How's that gonna work? I'm not really so sure. We'll, we'll see. Here we are. Oh, there's like a partially done grave. That's not it. Has to be in here. Now there's someone here. Is that the guy I have to talk to? Wait, isn't that the gambler? What do you want here? Go and play your game somewhere else. Oh, oh, that's where the body is. Darn. He's not letting me there. And if I refuse, he's going to call the guard. So I'm going to have to come back later. Because it's not working right now. Oh, that's just a bummer. Oh, well. I have one other thing I have to do, not for the charlatan, but something that's been on my to-do list. So I'm just going to try to see if I can complete that task right now. So I have to find the herbalist, and this could be him actually. And I have to actually steal a pouch with an amulet from him. And I'm not really good at pickpocketing yet, so I'm not really sure how to do it, but I'm gonna see if I can follow him. And then maybe there is a situation where I can pickpocket him. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I think I can follow him here forever. I definitely cannot pickpocket him while he keeps walking. That's just not possible. Hmm, but maybe I can knock him out and then steal it and hopefully nobody sees me. I don't want to kill him though. Okay, good. I didn't kill him. Thank God. Let's just loot him real quick before someone sees me. Hopefully that thing, that pouch is there. I didn't even look. I'm so nervous. I just, I don't know. Hmm. I should have taken all of it. I should have taken just a pouch, but too late now. I'm just hoping that he didn't see my face because otherwise they're going to come looking for me sooner than later. But I'm going to go and hand that pouch off now to the guy that requested it. I'm just glad this is done. Man, where was this guy again? He was somewhere in the gardens here. Wait, that's not him. That's the guy with the tools. Or, wait, is it the other guy, maybe? Behind him? Let's check. Yep, that's him. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Here's the farmer's pouch you asked for. Great, thanks. He'll have a fit when he finds out. He won't get a wink of sleep till he gets a new one. You see, he's got this idea he'll be eaten alive by fleas and lice without his amulet. Ah, oh, thankfully that's done. I can move on out my life. I just spent the night in the monastery. I was so exhausted last night. Uh, I feel freshly rested. It's kind of like a hazy day. But that's okay. Can't always be sunny, right? Yeah. Wait, what? Didn't just someone talk to me? I don't see anyone. I gotta check this out. Curiosity kills the cat, right? Could be a burglar. But I don't see anyone. Where did this come from? I could have sworn someone talked here. Stop and talk a while. Oh, here we go. What does he want? What is it? It's just that you look like someone who doesn't mind a bit of adventure. And I'm looking for someone like that. Let me put it this way. I know how to come by some serious wealth. Treasure, so to speak. And I'm willing to share this information with you for a trifling sum. I don't get it. 
Why don't you just get the treasure for yourself? The thing is, it's a bit out of the way. And with all that's happening in the country, the roads ain't safe. Never mind the forests. So I'd rather leave the joys of exploring to someone bolder than me. Sounds a little fishy to me. How do you know about it? Now that was an interesting twist of fate. I won it from a fellow at Dice. He ran out of coin and bet this crumpled parchment. I'd have sent him to hell, of course, if I'd been sober. But I says to myself, why not? And I won it. It's a rather wild story. But worth a try. Excellent. Here, take this. And I wish you good fortune in your search. Wow, that's so cool. I got a treasure map and he lets me have the treasure if I find it. I can't wait to go treasure hunting. I actually got a bunch of other treasure maps that I was collecting, finding, buying. So this is definitely going to be the next thing I'm going to do. Alright, let's go!